Sí. So on we go, the semi-finals complete in the under 49s. It's up to the men's minus 80s now. Only two categories today, of course. Korea, Italy, Egypt and Uzbekistan. There's Sambona, the man in charge. Just checking the mouthpiece and the earpiece. We're trying to raise the decibels, Paku Yuk. Now, Korea have never had a minus 80 athlete at the Olympic Games. The word on the street, they fancy the chances of this man to be a history maker. World bronze medalist in 2019. Bronze at the Asian Championships, last time out as well. Has he got the skills to make it through? Simone Alessio. The big man with the big plan and the big evasion. Can he stay calm in this cauldron-like atmosphere? Claudio Nolano will be doing his best in the coaching corner. But he'll have his work cut out. Passionate fans, and that's what it's all about. Kang Bo Yun from Hanguk Chede, the Olympic University. If you've ever had the fortune of or misfortune of training there, they'll be well prepared. Likewise, Simone Alessio. Well, he's known as the Prince. Can he be crowned the king here tonight? So it's European champion against Asian Games champion. Well, the big man from Livorno lets out the big shout. And the crowd contributing mightily to a wonderful atmosphere. Well, I mentioned the temperatures have gone down. You can guarantee the decibels will go up. Protectors are ready. Gladiators ready. Who will go on the first whistle? Park with the precision with that front leg, obviously the shorter of the two. Simone Alessio standing at almost two metres, one metre 98. Big man with a big reputation, but it's the big punch from Park. Head kick very close there. Any connection, Claudio Nolano stands. There was a wave there from Simone Alessio to say, I felt the foot touch the head. Well, you know what the crowd think. Absolutely loving it, of course. But the job of Park Hu Yuk is to keep things simple, to slow things down. If he can silence the crowd, he'll be doing very well. As Eric Ann runs the rule over this one. You can all look over the shoulder there yourself. Any contact to the head? Well, it looks like it from here. Computer says, yes, three up. A minute and 40 or so to play. Card back to Claudio. And Serge back in the centre. Park Hu Young trying to get up on his toes, create a bit of interference. Simone Alessio has been really calm and composed today. It's not been plain sailing, a couple of tough matches, as you would expect. So far, the rules working well, the PSS working well, working as well forward there, Park. You can hear those even above the crowd. Head kick just flicks past there. Park Kuyuk, lovely counter on the inside. So the new rules working well, back leg turning kicks, plus the gam jump. Strong centre refereeing from Serge Sambonim. Chop kick, well blocked by the Korean. He's got a bit of class about him, drops the shoulder, signs that confidence is coming up for the man in blue. Can he upset the apple cart? He can indeed. Finds the counter, big punch from the Italian. 
looks at the clock, makes the mistake, leaves the door open, climbing in. And Simone Alessio there looking imploringly at Claudio Delano. It's a clearly a complicated challenge. Felt as if there was maybe a flick again to the head, or it could have been a different aspect. Let's have a listen. Ah, they're asking for a test of the protectors. Okay. Not the video review card. Open stance, open opportunity, but Park not bringing in the back leg. Wants to avoid that front chop. There's the block from the Korean. Good punch again. Four point game, half a minute. Milano looking forward, goes with the sandwich, doesn't land. But there's a count being given here by Ser Sambona. Park disconsolate saying, I'm absolutely fine. Now, chop kick went over the shoulder. You can play the video review card. There looked to be head contact. Jumps up here. One. Kick to the face. So that was by virtue of that video review. But of course, Park giving the opposite view, saying that he was held. Complex times. Serge Sambona playing his own card. Excellent. So the referee hot on it. Former fighter himself, the Frenchman. He saw a kick to the face, not with the leg that came over, but the kind of, well, I'm going to call it the Aaron Cook sandwich. Or indeed, Hakan Macheva produced a peach as well. We're looking up on the big screen where there was a second contact to the face of the man in blue. Crowd like it. It's added. So good work from the ref, all tied up. The Korean looks as if he's ready to just leap in at any point. But don't they always look like that, the Korean fighters? Bemusing and confusing. Head kick attempt again from Simone. Park battling forward, this one looking for a chance to fix the, the arm guard. Cool as you like, Park hoo -yuk. Fans loving it. Now, could it come down to the criteria? How many contacts? How many head kicks? Well, we know that was certainly given by the bigger man. He's made the bigger effort. Will he get the big reward? It goes again with the shot on the inside, hits the deck, though. It will be 10 all. The high value techniques going to the man in red. The impetus now on Park. The clock ticks. Which way is it going to go? The crowd will tell you by virtue of those head kicks by the merest of margins. Have to say I'm loving that, love those new rules. Everything came into play nicely there. The video review for the head kick worked perfectly. The person rewarded for the more difficult techniques worked perfectly. And mercifully the PSS working perfectly as well. So maybe there is some hope. There's the big head kick. So here we go, first semi-final of the men's minus 80s, the welterweights. We don't have to wait much longer. If the first round is anything to go by, oh, get yourself a nice cool drink, get your feet up and enjoy this one. A battle befitting the beautiful setting. Two and a half years without the Grand Prix. The recap and the return in Rome. Park down using the shoulders, good block there from Alessio. More aggressive from the cream, good back kick, doesn't score, but just knocks the wind out your sails. Never fun to eat a back kick. Good head kick there, wonderful from Simone Alessio. The flexibility, a shake of the head from Park. Didn't see it coming, flexibility. 
obvious. Gamjum given for holding. Holding centre court, the big man in red. The Korean in blue, crouching down, trying to fake and intimidate, draw out a response. Turn the kick in the inside, walks into a head kick again. Simone Alessio, the big reputation. Well, the world champ, the European champ, both in Manchester, here in Rome. He eats a head kick, though, one to the back of the head. Gamjong given for holding. Well, I think we have a video review card played. Claudio Nolano has seen something. Let's have a listen. So three points. They want the three points invalidated for holding. Let's hear. Okay, so the gamjum was given, which would invalidate the head kick. So Eric and there explaining that on the mic. And irrespective, Alessio getting a chance to get his breath back. A big man for minus 80. And when you get to this stage of the event, stamina counts. Park Hoo Yuk very much in the conversation, though. And you could fit a credit card between them in the first round. But who's going to cash in here? This is crucial. Not just for the gam job, not just for the head kick, but where does the video review card go after that? To the pocket. And back to the coach. Tense times. I'm sure if you're a fighter yourself, you'd love to be here on the big occasion. As the Grand Prix Series kicks off again in earnest, unsuccessful, the card is gone. Park the happier of the two. But he won't want to park the bus in this one, he's going to motor forward. Alessio, sharp and ready. Picks up the Dobok leg and is ready for that head kick himself. Good kicks on the inside from the Korean. Well, Taekwondo, as you know, translates as the art of kicking and punching. It's now the art of kicking, punching, pulling and fighting. And the pantomime boos ring out. A minute left in the second. Who's going to be the villain? Can Park Woo Yuk produce an upset here and get himself into the third and deciding round? Or can Simone Alessio bring the crowd to his feet here in Rome? Back leg turn the kick, well blocked there from the big man in red. The battler in blue trying with the front leg twisting kick there. Time ticking. Simone Alessio goes with the head kick. A whisker away, but the video review card is gone. The head kick, but the video review card is gone. Simone Alessio will have to focus. Park Hoo Yuk, this time, it's a sandwich kick to the face, plus the count. And I think there was a conversation there to say, play the video review card. But Serge Sambona, excellent from the ref, giving the count, making sure that he's safe. Look what the crowd think. Alessio on the cusp, as expected though, and fair enough. Kang Bo Hyun wanting to play the card for the Koreans just to make sure. 8-6, double kick attempted by the Korean. Simone Alessio, world champion, European champion. Reverse turning kick, reversal of the fortunes. Rome Grand Prix champion. Simone Alessio delights the fans. Grabs gold, and the prince is the king. Seals the deal. Park Woo Yuk ran him close. Mastering the new rules, mastering the occasion. Mastering his emotions. 
picture perfect from Simone Alessio. Into the final he goes. Tremendous opportunity for him. Safe Aysa or Salaev of Uzbekistan awaits. Big opportunities for both men. So how much energy is he going to have left? That was an excellent semi-final. Into the final we go. And I'll admit it, I thought that was the final.